Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So Global just got a new data download this morning. And with this data download, we got a bunch of new assets related to the upcoming world tournament, which is starting in about two to three days from now. The new Extreme Z Awakenings, which are technically already available. And uh, also the next Explosive Chain Battle boss, update 4.14.3. And also a few assets related to the sixth anniversary. So of course, in today's video, we're going to check all of this stuff out together. And uh, with all that said, let's jump right into it. Now, if you guys are watching this video around the same time that it releases, then Global is currently in this emergency extended maintenance that is, I believe, scheduled to end around 6 p.m. And basically, the original maintenance was supposed to end at like 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it got extended by three hours and then extended by another three hours. And then the game opened at around like 9.30 a.m. for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then went into maintenance again. So right now we have no idea what's going on. We don't know why the game went into maintenance again, how long it's actually gonna take. Like for all we know, it could get extended again. So if you guys were planning to grind the Int Gogeta EZA or just play the game in general today, um, it might not exactly work out. We'll see, fingers crossed. Hopefully, it becomes available sooner than later, right? But uh, yeah, with that out of the way, let's uh, take a look at these assets. So, uh, as always, a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting these. Uh, if you guys aren't following him yet, then make sure to hit him up with a follow. And we're gonna scroll down to the very bottom here. And the first thing that uh, we got in this data download would be some promo banners here for the upcoming world tournament. So there's one, there's another one, and uh, we also have a new updated DB Saga banner. This Tien is brand new. Uh, this Kid Goku, of course, is the reward for this world tournament. And uh, here's another little promo here. And we also have a few assets for the World Tournament Unit Extreme Z, or not Extreme Z, uh, just Dokkan Awakenings. Now, they are available in the game, this Grandpa Gohan and this Chi Chi, but they're untranslated, which means that they're not gonna be available for this World Tournament. They're most likely gonna be available for the next World Tournament, which would be the 37th one, I believe. So they're, they're there, they added them just for future use, but uh, these Awakenings won't be available now. The ones that will be available uh, are the Token Awakening for the Int Kid Gohan, and also this new STR Tien. Not Awakened, just like a new unit. This Tien will be available on the DB Saga ticket banner. And what else do we have here? Oh, of course, the assets for the new World Tournament Kid Goku. Um, we have the next Explosive Chain Battle boss, which is a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Now, we're definitely not getting him for this current celebration, but most likely for Saiyan Day, I would guess, uh, we'll get this guy um, as a chain battle boss, right? Because we usually get one new chain battle per month, and it's only been about a week since the last one, if I remember correctly. So yeah, we probably won't get this guy or get another explosive chain battle boss until like end of March or so. Um, we have the explosive, or not explosive, the Extreme Z Dokkan Festival ticket available in the Pilaf Trove for the Int Gogeta, of course. And uh, here are a few stickers for the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Tech Super Saiyan Blue uh, Goku, who are going to be getting Extreme Z Awakenings, of course, or already have Extreme Z Awakenings, you just can't really access them right now because the game's in maintenance, right? But uh, yeah, those are their sticker effects. We have the... Extreme Z Battle Medals, or Extreme Z Awakening Medals, for Int Gogeta. Uh, some other assets here for the uh, actual Extreme Z Battle event. So there is the logo for the event. There's the SSR Gogeta. There's this little cut-in. And also the uh, Token Awaken Gogeta. Now this is related to the uh, update 4.14.3. So now when you pull a Dokkan Festival unit in a banner, then there's gonna be like a little, you know, Dokkan Festival featured uh, logo here that pops up on the screen. Just like when you pull an LR, it would have like that LR logo. Now they also tell you when you pull a Dokkan Festival featured unit, which is nice because a lot of newer players aren't gonna know if they pulled like 
an extra good unit because there's a lot of SSRs in this game and a lot of them are not very good, right? So for a newer player, if you see this logo, then you know, oh, like this unit is special in some way. Maybe I shouldn't bother them. I shouldn't, you know, sell them, right? So that's a nice little feature right there. Uh, here's a super pixelated version. I'm not really sure what that's all about, but uh, yeah, that's, that's what this is. Uh, okay, so this is related to the sixth anniversary. We have assets for the support memory items. And I don't think Global's gonna be getting them anytime soon. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get them before the sixth anniversary. I think these are just added to the game to kind of, you know, prepare Global for the eventual release. Uh, I think what they're gonna do is just like over the next couple of months, just like slowly add in these assets with each successive data download so that they don't have to do like a massive, you know, like one gigabyte plus um, data download all at once, right? So this is what I think, you know, this is the reason I think they're adding this right now. Don't get too excited. I don't think we're getting support memories um, at this point in time, but uh, yeah, they're, they're there now. They're available in the game or not in the game, but like in the files. And uh, we also have a few other things here. Insufficient film, which tells you that you can't use the support memory if you don't have enough of those film items. Um, complete, film required, film owned, right? So more support memory assets. And we also have revival skill assets. And as I said, guys, I don't think it's gonna be available before the anniversary. Some people have speculated that the reason you know, we're getting this right now is because the same day unit is going to have a revival skill mechanic and it's possible. It's definitely possible, but I don't see it that way mainly because the revival skill mechanic is such a core part of the anniversary. It's such a big draw of the anniversary. I just don't see them giving us this mechanic on global before the anniversary because they want people to be excited about it on global, you know, like, yo, these um, you know, LRs, the MUI Goku and SSB Vegeta are the first units to have a revival skill. Like, that's huge. So, um, I think once again, they're just, they're just preparing it on Global right now. They're not going to be releasing it. I don't think the Saiyan Day unit will have a revival skill. I could be wrong. We'll have to see. But uh, that's just my opinion, okay? And uh, this is card metamorphic labels. Okay, so this is for the new update, basically, for like rage mechanic, grade ape, and so on and so forth. There's going to be uh, more details you can see in the game. So this is for the um, you know various new uh, pages or screens, I guess, in the game. So this is for let's see, uh, phantom margin. There you go, phantom margin details, phantom margin conditions. Uh, this is for the Rage Mechanic, Rage, Rage Details, Rage Conditions, and uh, Giant Form, Giant Form Details, Giant Form Conditions. And this is for Giant Ape, Giant Ape, Giant Ape Details, and Giant Ape Conditions. And uh, what do we have here? Oh, Card Costume Labels. Okay, so Visual Change Details, Conditions, of course, again, related to the Anniversary. I think there's a decent chance that maybe the Saiyan Day unit will have a card costume. Right, just like with the 6th anniversary LRs, where like, you know, there's gonna be visual changes to the card, uh, you know, given certain conditions. Um, it, it's possible that they have this for the same day unit. And I mean, I, I think there's a chance. I just don't really see it happening still, because like, I think they want to keep all this stuff for the 6th anniversary as a big draw for the celebration. Um, as I said, I could be completely wrong about this. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Do you think the same day unit will have a card costume and a revival skill? Uh, I just don't really see it right now, okay? And that's it, guys. Those are all the assets. Uh, it was actually a lot of stuff. And a quick little summary here. Uh, we have app update 4.14.3, uh, 4, 4 card costume slash metamorphic labels, revival and support, memory assets, Dokkan featured animation, uh, easy A's for Int Gogeta, AHL Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and Tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and also Chain Battle Boss Super Saiyan 2 Youth Gohan, and the World Tournament Units slash Banners. So there you go, that is everything that this data download had to offer. Um, before we go though, I want to quickly just talk about what this STRTN does, because I actually forgot to talk about it in my World Tournament Preview video. So if you guys missed that, you want to see what the uh, Kid Goku does and the Awakened Int Youth Gohan. 
um, then feel free to go check out that video. But for now, let's just quickly go over the Tian details. Okay, so his leader skill is going to be STR type skill plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack tri beam causes supreme damage and lowers attack and defense, and passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional defense plus 80% when facing only one enemy, stuns the attacked enemy for 2 turns, and attack plus 200%. And defense minus 40% when performing a super attack once only. Links are gonna be Crane School, Tele Telepathy, Infighter, The Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls. Uh, and the categories are World Tournament, DB Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, Final Trump Card, and Earthlings. And his additional 200% attack is calculated separately for a total boost of 440% when performing a super attack, of course, for the one time only. And uh, he doesn't have a Doken Awakening yet, but you guys will be able to pull him in the DB Saga banner if you get the DB Saga tickets through the World Tournament. And that is pretty much it. I mean, I would go over the details for the uh, AGL or uh, Int Gogeta and also the Gokus, but I already talked about them in my Extreme Z Awakening preview video. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, then feel free to go check it out. I'll put a link above my head somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Another big shout out to my boy Proton10MG. Uh, follow him if you guys want to be, you know, the first to know about what's going on with like data downloads and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully Global becomes, you know, available to be played sooner than later because the maintenance, I mean, I can quickly check right now. I'm pretty sure it's still going. Uh, yeah, the maintenance is still on, so. Yeah, uh, hopefully we can all get into this game at some point today. Hopefully I can do my stream for Ant Gogeta's Easy Yay sooner than later because I've been looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, man. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And uh, while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.